got the PJ Mask Catboy costume for my eight-year-old because he has to go dressed up as a book character or a character from like a TV show or movie tomorrow. He wanted Spider-Man, but I could not find Spider-Man. So Catboy it is. Two boxes of mac and cheese. I like to have this in my pantry as backup for the kids. Haven't seen this in a while at the grocery stores. By the way, this is all from Pequeño Mundo, but they had it there. The Boquitos crackers with the peanut butter filling. One pack of penne masks because we completely ran out. This is the reason why I went to pick up some more disposable face masks. Goldfish crackers for the kids. A pack of these individually packaged snack bags for the kids. And then these are really good. They have different flavors, but I prefer the hazelnut filling. These are just like cakes, little mini cakes. Well, they're not mini, but these are like individually wrapped cakes with the hazelnut filling. They're really good. Perfect little sweet treat. And that's what I got from Bikini Mundo. Hey guys, I have a quick weekly grocery haul that I wanted to share with you. I went to the Walmart affiliate and I picked up some items for the week. I'm going on a trip, so I wanted to make sure that the kids had enough snacks, especially for the days that I'll be gone. So I went to the Walmart affiliate and I got some of the puff pastry items that they usually have on sale. So I think they're like two for dollar fifty usually. So I got two of the chicken ones and two of the potato ones. And I want the kids to take this to school. I think the Thursday is like the first full day that I won't be here because my flight is on Wednesday afternoon. So um, I have this for them to take on Thursday. The Great Value Twist and Shout, like Oreo dupes were on super clearance. So I bought a pack of that. And then I bought the ciabatta buns that I really like because I'm making crab salad sandwiches tonight for dinner. Got some more turkey for the boys, some bread. Then these were on sale, the club crackers. So I got those mainly for my daughter because my boys will eat these. They'll pack these in their lunches for snack, but my daughter is not a fan. So this is mostly for her, but there's two packages so everyone can have at least one of these for the next few days while I'm gone. I got some more cereal, the Great Value Cinnamon Crunch, a couple of the drink mixes. These are the Fuse Tea ones. I got three packs, so that's 18. So that should be enough for the days that I'm gone. I'm gonna have to go to Costco to stock up on like certain snack items that we're running out of, but I will do that when I get back from my trip. But these are just like the iced tea juice bottles that the kids will pack in their lunches. I also got three of these mini yogurt smoothie cup type things. They can pack that in their lunch. I got one of the guava drink mixes for me some cream cheese because we completely ran out today two onions to have when i get back i'll most likely do like a better like grocery haul but this is just a few items to tide everyone over mainly the kids while i'm gone i got some apples again for the kids to pack in their lunches some Pizza blend, shredded cheese for pizza, which I did get the pizza kit again. Um, I think I'm going to make this tomorrow for the kids for lunch. And then I also got this for quesadillas. The uh, watermelon lemonade, well, watermelon strawberry lemonade. And then I wanted to give these a try. Well, not me, but my daughter and my husband. I wanted them to try these veggie chicken nuggets from Morningstar Farms. I hope they taste really good. I usually get things like this from the Gardein brand. So 
I'm hoping to give this a try with them. And then the tater tots were on sale, so I went ahead and bought it, even though I don't have any plans for it. But that could be like a quick meal um, one night when I'm gone. And then I got the seasoned wedges for tonight's dinner and then bagels to have in the fridge. And that's everything I picked up for the week or for the days that I'll be gone for the kids, mainly for their lunches. Hey guys, so I went to Auto Mercado and picked up some groceries for the week. We do need to go to Price Mart to stock up, but that won't be until like closer to next week. So I wanted to get a couple of things, mainly breakfast items because we completely ran out of that. A couple of snack type items and some items for meals, like for dinners. So this half is over here. I have another portion on the other side of the kitchen. I'll show you guys that as well. So like I said, Auto Mercado. This was a hundred and something dollars around there. Not a lot, but I did get some pricier items as well. So over here, I got the pre-cooked falafel. We really like these, especially for my husband and my daughter because they're meat-free. I picked up the puff pastry for a meal one night. I also got the deli bread for the kids, for the boys especially, because I also picked up turkey to make turkey sandwiches for their lunches. And I also got some pepper jack cheese. Well, this is the turkey and this is the cheese. I got the mission wraps. I got some more brown gravy. I picked up three bags of the pizza dough. I got some rice. So I asked the kids if they wanted to try this. I know I've bought the Ianis white shells and cheddar before when they used to have it at Price Mart, but they don't remember. So I got two boxes because they do want to try it. So that's the mac and cheese I have. I decided to pick this up, the Calentano, like the pre-cooked manicotti. So, well, not pre-cooked, it's like frozen and you add your sauce you bake it and it's super simple so this is going to be a really quick meal one night mainly for my husband and then i got the breaded tilapia for another meal i was actually going to make this tonight but my husband ordered indian food which i'm super excited about and he also got the kids some pizza well he also got the kids some pizza so i don't have to cook tonight by the way, it's Monday, so happy Monday. I got bread because we completely ran out. Like I said, I need to stock up. Got some Eggos. This was pretty pricey, but again, we don't have a lot of breakfast items on hand. And this is a quick breakfast in the mornings for the kids when they're running out to school. Got my husband a beef plant-based burger. And I think that's everything over here. All right, so this is the rest of everything. Goldfish for the kids for a snack. My daughter likes these Baby Bell cheeses, so I picked her up some of those to pack in her lunches. We completely ran out of cream cheese, so I picked some up. Taco seasoning. I actually thought I had some in the pantry, and I didn't. So I like to have this as, like, backup in the pantry or just on hand for um, simple meals. Got these thins for my husband. Got some tortillas for the kids to make quesadillas. I like to get the four pack from Price Mart, but again, I will be going sometime later on this week. I got the Boquitos Original Crackers. These are individually packaged, so they're perfect for the kids to take them for a snack. A sparkling ice and a tropical like strawberry watermelon lemonade. My eight-year-old wanted this cereal, but I know my husband would like this as well. This is the multi-grain yogurt cereal. Actually, it's Greek yogurt cereal, and it has a mixture of nuts and grains in here, I think. So, got that. And then I also picked up the cookie crisp. Um, I need some soap for our bathroom, so I just got this little bag to pour in our container. And then my eight-year-old needs glue, so I got him this three-pack of glue stick. I need to get to Price Mart. Again, I'm saying Price Mart, y'all, it's Costco. So again, I need to get to Costco slash Price Mart to get our six cartons of almond milk, but for now. But for now, I got one little carton, three bags of these 
onion flavored rings for the kids to pack in their lunches because Auto Mercado did not have like individually packaged bags of chips. So I'll get the variety pack at Costco when I go. Juice boxes. Juice boxes again for the kids. Can of the red beans. That's really good. A can of lentils. And then three yogurt. Three yogurt smoothie bottles for the kids to take for a snack. And that is everything I picked up at Auto Mercado. Hey guys, I'm going to go ahead and film my stock up for the month of June. I don't think I did a stock up in May. Um, but I have a couple of clips of a few groceries I picked up at like the regular grocery store. So I'll insert those clips in this video, probably before this clip. But this is everything that I picked up today from Costco. I went with my husband, so he did pick up a couple of items in here as well. So I'm going to show you. This was almost, well, I wouldn't say almost. It was over $300. But again, we're a family of six. And a lot of this stuff will last us the month of June. I do also like to go to a couple of different other supermarkets and grocery stores to pick up a few other things just to round out our staple items that I like to have on hand for the month. So next week I'll be going to Pequeño Mundo and I'll be getting mainly my pastas from there. And then I'll probably pick up some other items probably from Walmart or the Walmart affiliate. And I might insert that footage in this video as well. But starting off over here, I got some more pickles because we ran out and I like to have pickles on hand and this lasts me a really long time. So I got some pickles, just the Vlasic oval hamburger dill pickle chips. My husband picked out tuna because the other day he wanted tuna and we don't, we don't have any on hand anymore. So he got this, the solid light tuna in olive oil. And then he got some organic blue agave. I swore I got agave before and it wasn't this brand and it definitely wasn't this agave because the ingredients weren't that great. And my husband's really strict about certain items and this only has organic blue agave nectar. So he wanted to give this a try. Um, we do have honey and brown sugar on hand, but he wanted to try this blue agave. I picked up another huge container of the Mott's assorted fruit snacks for the kids for their lunches. They pack this in their snack. This has 90 individually packaged bags, but the bags are super tiny. Y'all know. So I got that. I got the El Monterey bean and cheese burritos because these are back. And I know especially for my daughter, she likes bringing these to school because she's meat free. But um, my boys also like bringing these as a lunch item in their lunches when they pack for school. So I'm glad I got this and I got two packages of those. So that'll last a little while. I decided to start getting the Bertoli because it just makes more sense to get it in three individual containers instead of one huge jar. Um, it lasts longer this way. I wish it was mostly the olive oil and garlic, but it only comes with one bottle of those. And then the rest, the other two are tomato and basil. But this will go in my pantry. And that's why I need to stock back up on pasta because I also did get the Bertoli Alfredo sauce which I didn't even know it was the same brand y'all but yeah I got the Alfredo sauce and again everything is going up in price so it was expensive but I mean compared to what it is at the grocery store when there are no sales it turns out to be a better deal so got the Alfredo sauce and then my husband saw these sugar donuts like I said he's very strict about certain things but like occasionally he likes to have a treat and so he saw this it looked really good so he picked that up this is a treat that he picked up for himself to keep in his office the cranberry cashew trail mix and obviously I mean 
It has no chocolates in it at all. So this is super healthy. I would have just gotten like either the trail mix with the candy in it or like just the cashews because that's me. But he said this looks really good. It was really expensive, but this will last him a long time. Picked up some grapes. And then our eight-year-old was with us and he picked out some sushi. So got some sushi. I don't know. What is this? Oh, California Deluxe. This looks really good. And then again, my husband picked out these dried pineapple slices. Again, he's going to be putting this in his office for when he gets when he gets a little bit peckish and wants to snack on something, he'll have that. Of course, I had to get my tortillas because I was running low. So I got that. Picked up some corn because it just looked really good. The three pack of rice. Two bags of the cheese ravioli. I like having this in the freezer for like a quick last minute meal. I got the Chosen Foods Organic Avocado, Coconut, and Safflower Oil again. The organic bottle of oil. We picked out some broccoli. It's already cut up. Probably already washed, but I will also wash it before I cook this. And then Hubby also saw this cereal. It looks really good. Um, the all-inclusive, uh, no sugar added, multi-cereal with blueberries and with strawberries. I think there's like two, two bags in here. So this will last a little while. Then I picked out some granola bars because it's been a while since I've bought granola bars for the kids and just to have on hand in the house. This comes with 24 bars and it's the dark chocolate, peanut and almond sweet and salty nut chewy granola bars. Those are so yummy. So I got those. I went ahead and picked out the Twinkies and the cupcakes. 32 variety pack again for the kids to have um, to pack in their lunches for a snack. Got some Hawaiian rolls and they actually gave us a like Hawaiian roll mini cookbook <laughs> with some really fun and yummy looking ideas on how to use this. But I, I know how to, you know, I know how to use Hawaiian rolls. So this will come in really handy. Then I got some more of the hamburger buns, the two pack. I like to stock up on those at Costco. Tropical juice mixes for the kids for their lunches. McCain straight cut french fries, cause y'all already know. And then this is not new, but new packaging. So this is the 24 bags of the classic mix the Frito-Lay variety pack because the kids like having individual packaged chips to bring for snack. Two bags of bagels. And this, these are big bagels. They come six in a pack. I got blueberry and I just got plain. Got the fast fixing chicken breast nuggets because these are so good, so good. It's 100% natural chicken breast. And my boys really like that. Two bags of salmon. Salmon is so expensive. You guys, this, I complained about this last grocery haul, so I'm not even going to do it again. But just know, this is not going to last the entire month because this only comes with either four or six um, like individual portions of salmon in here. And there are three people in this house that eat salmon. So think about that when we're making dinner. That's three pieces of salmon. That's like one bag if it's four pieces for dinner. If it's six pieces, then that's two dinners. But it doesn't last very long. So I don't cook salmon very often, but I'd like to put it on the menu at least once a week. So this will be gone um, before the month's end. But I needed to get two bags because, you know. And then I got the member selection artisan crust cheese pizza. I haven't gotten the cheese pizza in forever because I was just like, oh, the price. 
But if you break it down, you get three pizzas in here. And for the price, it's actually a better deal than getting them individually at the supermarket. So I just went ahead and got pizza. And this is also for the kids to pack in their lunches to take to school. Oh, and that little clip with the blue containers, that's a two-pack of mayonnaise that I completely forgot to share with you guys. But we had run out, so I had to stock back up on those. I picked up the eight pack of the refried beans. This is kind of like a staple now. Um, this is just a cantaloupe, not from Costco. And then I got the chocolate chip cookies because it's been a minute since I've gotten these. So I figured we might as well get them. Kids love this. Everybody loves this. Hubby loves this. I love this. So it's a really good sweet treat to have on hand um, for everyone in the house. Well, my husband, so he did also pick up a couple of items. He got some things for our little gym situation. He actually bought like a 100-pound weight, um, like a bar with a couple of weights. That's still in the car. But I'll share our gym setup with you guys probably in another video, maybe a vlog. But he picked these items up. And then I also got these headbands because I'm actually going to a baby shower today. And this is my outfit and it goes perfectly with these colors so i'm going to be wearing that to match with my outfit for the baby shower we got some mandarin oranges for the kids mainly for them to pack in their lunches for school but also just to have on hand a bag of apples my husband picked out these popcorners the kettle corn sweet and salty he picked up some kiwi my boys really like kiwi and so do i I got some carrots because I can actually cut these up and throw them in the kids lunch boxes so that they can snack on those and this old orchard apple juice actually came from Walmart so we picked that up and I stocked back up on pasta you guys I just got a ton of pasta for the month I got the farfowl I picked up two penne, I got two spaghetti, and two linguine. Y'all already saw that I picked up Alfredo sauce and regular pasta sauce, like the red pasta sauce from Costco. So this is all the pasta. And so now we're all set pretty much for the month for pasta. Sour cream and onion Pringles, mainly for my eight-year-old to pack for lunches. And then my husband picked out two pineapples so that he can make smoothies. And this is my baby shower gift. I got her a bathtub because that's like one of my signature gifts. I either give you a ton of diapers and wipes or I get you a bathtub or some kind of baby toy to help you out. Like either the baby chair or a play gym. But Walmart had a good selection of bathtubs so I got the sponge to go with that because as a newborn you know they can't really sit up support their head or anything so this is like the little foam that goes in the bathtub to help the newborn when you're giving them a bath and this foam is so expensive like when did it stop being like four dollars y'all it was like nine bucks and this thing will not last you more than a month because it gets wet and then it gets moldy so you have to change it out but, I mean, it's only for the newborn stage, so I think the month will be fine. My husband was with me, so he wanted me to get her a bath towel as well. Yeah, my husband was, he was like into it. He was like, get her this, get her that, get her this. So he wanted me to get her a bath towel as well, and this was super cute, so we got her that. And then I also got her this new baby dove soap for newborns i think this is so cute i'd never seen it before i know most likely she won't be getting this but it's the most natural one that we could find at walmart but this is super cute and does a really good brand so that's what i got her and i also did get a nutrageous candy bar but i already put that away all right, guys, so this is everything that i picked up from the walmart affiliate um i was deciding between spaghetti or ravioli ravioli one but before i knew that i got some lettuce i didn't like the like individual lettuce 
you know, the ones that you have to cut up and chop up yourself. They just did not look good. They're cheaper, but it didn't look good. So I got the bag lettuce and I got the coleslaw mix. So that was for a salad um, for tonight. But since I'm making ravioli, I'm going to be doing broccoli. So this is going to go in the fridge. I needed to get more of the burrito size tortillas for my husband and I also needed to get some juice so I got the kids the strawberry watermelon lemonade and I got me and my husband our favorite blackberry lemonade I also got some bread to make garlic bread tonight I also got yogurt and this yogurt came with a free thing of cream cheese which I thought was a really good deal all right, guys, this is it. This is it. I'm not spending any more money at the grocery stores this week. But just to round out what I picked up for the month, I finally found a tartar sauce because I went to another Walmart affiliate. I also wanted to have a can of beans and a can of lentils in my pantry. I picked this up for my oldest son because he's not feeling well today. Just this chicken soup mix. Cinnamon crunch. That's what I like to eat when I'm eating cereal. And then the cheese it duels for the boys for snack. This is gonna wrap up my monthly stock up for June. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye.